Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're flying Air France business class from LAX to Prague. What makes this flight even more special is Dominique Kren, a three Michelin star chef, has designed a brand new menu for this season. Come along with us as we try these awesome dishes. This flight was the start of our two week holiday and it was incredible. We traveled all over Eastern Europe. We didn't want to come back. Stay tuned for those videos to come. But for now, let's get back to the flight. We started our day in San Francisco, California. We arrived in a terminal three at LAX. It was really interesting. You have to walk outside to get to the next terminal. It was a long morning. We had started our day really early. We actually drove up from Monterey, California because we were at a wedding the night prior. So we're going off of just a few hours of sleep here. So if we look a little tired, that's why. And luckily there is a priority lane for business class passengers with Air France. Yeah, good job. All right. Tay forgot to uh, empty out her water. It's her first time flying first today. Time, guys, first time. <laughs> After we cleared security, we headed over to the Qantas One World International Business Lounge, which is located on the second floor of the Tom Bradley International Terminal. Just take the elevator up one floor and follow the signs to the lounge. I thought the signage was terrible, but I'm directionally challenged, so keep that in mind. This lounge is shared by Cathay Pacific, British Airways, and Qantas, and any other one world business class travelers. Great. Thank you. So you're warm up to get more with them. More with them. We're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at the seat. Oh, wow. This place is very large. I will say, we enjoyed this lounge so much, partly because you don't have to fight to get a seat. Watch our other video about Centurion Lounge and you will see exactly what we mean. So this is only our second time flying business class and having a dedicated lounge just for business class passengers is still mind blowing. For instance, they have a dedicated wait staff that comes around and asks you if you need a refill or if you need a food item. It just really goes above and beyond what we're normally used to in the crazy Centurion Lounge or Priority Pass Lounge atmosphere. The eggplant was to die for. I had three servings, maybe four. And if you've ever been to Dai Bai Dang in Fresno, California, you'll know exactly what I mean. The food selection is kind of random, but all is very, very good. All right, so a few short hours in the lounge and uh, it's time to head to the gates. So let's head on over. Oh my gosh, mom's out of it. She didn't make the cut. It doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, she's on the escalator. Huh? We got the lymphac. If you're wondering who the two randos are that we keep filming, those are the in-laws. They're our best friends and our travel partners. And unfortunately, or fortunately for them, I get to manage all of the tickets. So as you saw, I was held up at the gate there, but super excited once we got down the jet bridge to the airplane. Going on business class. Right. Then I will cross on your right. Okay. Thank you. Here you go that way. Who, me? No, you. You guys go that way. This way? Yeah. Okay. Tricks. Anytime you can lie flat in the air is a pleasure, so we can't complain too much. However, there is a lot left to be desired. I think that's how the saying goes. The seat was narrow and mine was broken. But other than that, it was great. Oh, I'm gonna hang my coat. You're gonna hang your coat? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Wonderful hanger. Where do you hang it? As you can see, using Tay's feet as a reference, there is ample room in the footwell. No issues for this six footer. He's six feet, not me. Anyways, the amenity kit, it was a little lackluster. It was Clarins, it's a very nice brand, but you only got a face lotion and a hand lotion. And then you got your toothbrush, your eye mask, earplugs, socks, toothpaste, and a pen. And then you did get a really nice bag. They gave you a choice of blue or gray. The crew is very serious about not being filmed, so you'll see that all of their faces are blacked out, blanked out, scabbed out, <laughs> blurred out. That's the word. Here we are. Yeah, 
as you can see these seats are showing their age a bit unfortunately the upgrade that's happened to the a350 hasn't happened yet on the triple seven three hundred i'm not really sure when that upgrade is supposed to happen but hey i'm looking forward to it hopefully in the future we can fly air france again and uh, experience that new seat hey and no complaints from this guy we pushed back on time for an 1830 departure the taxi was short as we arrive at the runway looking into that blue sky what a perfect day to travel to old Perry. The IFE was easy to use. However, they didn't have the biggest selection. So if you are a little picky, you might want to just download your own shows. It did seem a bit dated to go along with the rest of the interior of the aircraft. The responsiveness of the screen was a little bit delayed overall, but the selection was decent. Welcome to the main event. We know that you all came here to see this. Like we said in the beginning, Dominique Crenn, who's a three Michelin star chef for her restaurant Atelier Crenn in San Francisco, was the first woman to be awarded three Michelin stars in the US. Although we haven't eaten at any of her other restaurants, we were so excited to hear that a three Michelin star chef would be designing this menu. Luckily, we had four people with us, so we're able to show all of the mains there were two primary meals served. First was dinner, and then the second was breakfast before we landed. The breakfast was the traditional tomato omelet and salmon cream bagel. There was a hot and cold option there. Paolo Basso, the sommelier choosing the drinks on this Air France flight, won the best sommelier in the world in 2013. So that's a high praise for the drinks selected for this flight. I chose the Long Doc, which is a red wine from the southern region of France. It was very smooth and had fruity notes, which I love. Feel free to pause the video to see the entire drink selection on offer. One very thoughtful touch is they asked us if we wanted to be woken up prior to the second meal service, which was the breakfast service. This being an overnight flight, some people chose to stay sleeping during the breakfast service, which I don't blame them because they wanted to be well rested when they arrived at their destination. I also wanted to show you the IFE remote, which is very intuitive and very easy to use. There I go again, bull in a china shop, smashing glasses. On to the first course, the canapé, a shrimp and avocado tartlet. I found it to be quite flavorless. The shrimp and avocado tartlet was very fresh. However, it lacked a bit of creativity and flavor. All right, the second course is the smoked duck breast, beet and walnut salad. And I tell you what, it was delicious. Favorite out of all of the courses and all four of us agreed, as you can see. Here I am trying to be serious with my food review and then I see Tay in the background eventually fist pumping and having a great time, totally past the vibe check. All right, let's take a look at the mains. I had the slow cooked beef, which was executed very well. It was a slow cooked type of beef with a red wine sauce and roasted vegetables. As you can see, very tender on the inside and flavorful and juicy. I thought out of the four dishes, this one was probably the best. It was the most flavorful and the most delicious. I ordered the chicken filet with morale mushroom sauce. It was a really good idea, executed well, but it lacked a little bit of flavor. My dad had the cod white wine and shallot sauce. He really enjoyed it. I found it to be a little bit fishy, but again, well executed. And then my mom had the beet leche de tigra artichoke and smoked cream. Say that 10 times fast. And then on to the assorted cheeses. Yeah, that middle cheese, which I think was a goat cheese of some sort, was the absolute best. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you. <laughs> I got squashed up in my teeth. The wine is really good and they just keep giving me it. And I love it. 
Whoa, that's the card. Not a, no, yeah. And finally, to top it off, we had a chocolate roche for dessert. This one, good. Not great. I would expect more from the French. I would say that the dessert was lacking a little bit, both in execution and flavor. All right, dinner service done. Let's get some sleep. The bedding that they provide is a small blanket with a pillow. It was ample though. I was able to get a few hours of sleep on the way to Paris. If I could provide just one minor critique, it would be to provide a mattress pad. It would make that bed just that much better. After a couple hours of sleep, Tan and I went and raided the self-service snack area that's set up for business class passengers. Roots, water, the most important thing. I'm gonna try and drink my my grapes. Yeah. Breakfast is never that exciting. However, this was pretty good. Not like Qatar. We compare everything to Qatar. So I had the salmon, cream, and bagel, which was good. Uh, I should have asked for jelly, which is what you put in your yogurt. I was unaware. That would have made it absolutely delicious. And then Kyle had the tomato omelet, potato roasty, and mushrooms, which was a little plain. All right, a quick Lou review. This is one of the areas where I feel like you should never sacrifice. If you are in a service industry, always clean the Lou. It was dirty the entire time. And just like that, we touched down in Paris. That time went so quick. All in all, it was a great flight. I'd be happy to fly Air France business class across the Atlantic again. We transited through Paris, and so we got access to the Air France Salon Lounge in Terminal 2F. Something to keep in mind, the airports in Europe are very, very warm, so make sure you dress in layers. I thought maybe it was a fluke when we landed in Charles de Gaulle. However, it was a theme in every European airport we went to. So these videos that we do are completely self-funded. So if you like what you see and you want to continue to support the channel, please subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below of how we can improve or things you'd like to see because we love to travel. So bringing you the content that you want to see is what we desire to do. So because it was so hot in that lounge, we were able to take a nice cold shower, rinse off, freshen up, and head back out to eat more food. A nice perk to this lounge is Clarence offers a 15 minute complimentary facial, which is pretty awesome. There it was quiet lie down areas. That's great. That's gold, Johnny. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> And then we had our final flight onto Prague about four or five hours later. Food was fantastic, service was fantastic. It just makes you really appreciate traveling for those types of experiences. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Prague at the Václava 
You may now activate flight mode. Please keep your seatbelt fastened until you eliminate it, so not in switch off. <laughs>